right, we are underway as we roll on on Friday Night Fights. Another pair of rookies doing battle here. Lonnie Russo and Marcus Vishakini doing battle at 147 pounds and some thudding body kicks both ways here in the early going. Both southpaws. Uh, not sure how much experience they'll have going against a southpaw as a southpaw uh, in terms of training guys early in their career. So that could be uh, something to, to see here. Mishikini fighting out of the New York Combat Club, trains with Chris Kwiatkowski, a longtime coaching and fighting favorite here on Friday Night Fights. Lonnie Russo, on the other hand, trains at Pure MMA in Rockaway, New Jersey, with Tommy Espinosa and Andy Main. Mishikini missing on the uppercut as Russo backs away. Mishikini in the red and black trunks. Lonnie Russo in the a nice hook. Black and fatigue trucks. Low blow there. Chris Cannon says, Chris the Cannon Wagner says, fight on our referee. Love to see Lonnie be a little bit busier, but he could just be feeling out still. Nice leg kick there, but Russo walks right through it and attacks up high on Vishakini. Lonnie Russo with a big sharing section tonight, coming up from New Jersey. Nice combination there. And for these guys, it's really going to be who can get off on that left hand. Time winding down in this first round, scheduled for three here. Good knees from the clinch from Russo. Pitting him up against the ropes, another good knee there. And I there. think the, that clinch stole him the round. There is the bell right there. Some good action both ways there, Mike Chirico. So it both of these guys, both making their debuts, but both seem to be kind of with their heads in the game, not too overwhelmed, and both landed some flush shots. Yeah, we'll really see the composure come second and third round because uh, the adrenaline dump, when someone's not really in control and composed, you'll really see that take hold towards the end of the second and definitely in the third. Nice two-punch combo there, and a head kick drive from Vishakini in the early part of the round, but Russo seems to get it, find his composure a little bit later in the round. That overhand left hand right there after the leg kick to the outside from Vishakini. Yeah, I'd like to see Vishakini be a little busier. He did engage and start the clinch, got him in a good dominant position, but really didn't deliver much damage once he had it. Vishakini taking instructions from Chris Kwiatkowski. One of the legendary names on the Friday Night Fights promotion. Good guy to have in your corner. Also, Manny Casais backing up. Marcus Vichichini tonight, a native of Downingstown, Pennsylvania. Now he calls New York City home. Takes a straight left from Lonnie Russo to open things up in round two. Vichichini fighting out of that clinch with punches. It's Russo coming forward. Seems like Russo's landing the more devastating punches, especially when he connects with that straight left. Slight height difference between these two. Vishakini in the black and red trunks at 5'7". Bonnie Russo at 5'6". He's in the fatigues and black trunks with the red gear. Ari Lagami ringside with Mike the Machine Chirico, decorated fighter in his own right, four-time WKA national champion. Nice inside kick there. Russo pops right back up. And another. Vishakini thought he might have had something there, but Russo comes charging forward and stifles Vishakini's game plan for the moment. Halfway through round two. Ooh, that looked like it was a low blow. I'd like to see Russo break away and try to land that straight left. Knee to the body lands for Vishakini. Russo comes right back. These two doing some work in the clinch, both of them. Seems to be pretty even in the clinch. Russo would like to break away and throw hands, as you can see there. The Shikini finding some leverage here, switching up with those knees. Russo trying to do the same, but he's on his heels. Final yeah. 10 seconds of round two. Uppercut inside for Russo, and he landed a left hook to the chin. Good dirty boxing from Russo there. 
And in fact, Lonnie Russo does do boxing training as well as round two comes to a close. He mentioned that at the weigh-in yesterday. A little MMA, a little boxing as well for Lonnie. We saw some of that on display a moment ago. I think Vissakini with the aggression there, you got to lean the round his way. He did engage the clinch. He was more active in the clinch. Uh, and I think whoever takes his third round is going to bring home the W. So. Shakini there, and again, nice kind of slipped the punch from Russo and then landed a little combo of his own. Pretty polished looking shots here for both of these guys. Nice inside kick there, too, took him off his feet. Only thing with Vishikini, Mike, seems like he's telegraphing just a little bit there. Especially, he saw it opening on the inside leg kick, but he's yeah. looking straight down for the leg kick. Yeah. And his foot's going to be sore tomorrow because he already hit foot to knee there. So he's got one more round to get through it, but he'll definitely be feeling that later tonight. Round three of a scheduled three at 147 pounds. That's it. And hits that inside again. Russo loading up that left hand again. Lonnie Russo in the red gear with the black and fatigue trunks. Marcus Vishakini in the black and red with the blue gear. Russo out of Morris County, New Jersey. Again, as he takes nice. a body kick up high. Yep. Nice Vishik kick by Vishikini. Vishikini. Yeah, found the home there with the right leg. Vissakini might just take this from being busier. It seems like Russo's waiting, and now he's picking it back up. But with this third round, you got to go. A little tit for tat here between these two rookies. And the energy level's still pretty good, Mike, for round three. Yeah, they're still going at it. I'd like to see Russo stay busy, move, hit that left hand. But Vissakini's being active with the kicks. He's throwing more shots. But the Superman punch all of a sudden from Russo. A lot of variety from these fighters in this fight. Two guys making their debuts. And this is a close one to score. Someone's got to pull away these last 30 seconds. Final 25 seconds of action here between Marcus Vishakini. And they engage the clinch. Someone's got to work. And Lonnie Russo, again, they're tied up against the ropes. Now maybe the fatigue starting to set in here. We saw a lot of action both ways as Vishikini sits down on the left hand. Russo backs uh -huh. off and takes a right foot to the chin. Uh -huh. One more kick up high from Vishikini. And that's your ball game right there. Yeah, good that. finish for Marcus Vishikini. Very good finish. That might score high in the judges' eyes. So often, Mike, rounds are very close and hard to kind of evaluate and score, and then something happens those last few seconds, an exchange occurs, and that's what the judges remember. Yep, and, and that's what's tough about it. It's, you know, no one's using a compu box and, and scoring the total amount of punches landed that round, but if it's even, it's even, and you don't know what to do, someone lands something big at the end, it's usually enough to steal the round. Mike Chirico, my broadcast partner, used to getting knockouts, not relying on the judges. I never let, liked letting it go to the judges. Known as the machine, has amassed a 12-1 record in the squared circle. And he's the head coach at the Westchester Fight Club as well. Busy man is my broadcast partner. Helping us out this evening as we take a look at the action from between Russo and Vishikini. A tremendous fight between these two rookies. Good, for, good performance from both these guys for their first time out. Uh, yeah. That's what the beauty of the sport. Someone has to win, someone has to lose. Unless it's a draw. It has yeah. happened before. Yeah, three round unlikely fight. In this, yeah, unlikely three round in this fight, scenario. no knockouts, but no knockdowns. Let's go to Connor Hall for the official particulars. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have a winner. And we go to the judge's scorecard. Judge A sees this 30-27. Judge B sees this 28-29. And Judge C sees this 29-28. In a majority decision for Lonnie Russo.
So despite the late flurry from Michigini, it's Lottie Russo coming away.